So I went in and obviously I had wig and stuff. Oh no. Oh, this is a bad start. Oh no. Oh no, what did she do? I'm so glad you don't know which auntie because I would be like, I'd, I'd be like, <laughs> what did you do? Oh no. Hey guys, this is Siri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? If you're new, hello and thank you for clicking into today's video. I hope you do subscribe and if you're already subscribed, hello and thank you for coming back to watch another video. I almost forgot what I was going to say there. Anyway guys, <laughs> anyway guys, today baby's here with me again as always. He's always here now anyways. And today we're going to be talking about me in Canada. A few weeks or months ago, we talked about Carson's first time in Nigeria. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it somewhere up here or up here, whichever way it comes up from. Go check it out. And today we're going to be talking about my first time in Canada and this was back in 2015. So Carson and I were just boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm. We literally just started, like, we just made it official like a few months after we went to Canada. Because we made it official, like we were officially boyfriend and girlfriend in April of 2015. Yeah. And then we went to Canada in August. You said after we went to Canada. It was before we went to Canada. Oh, sorry, my English was weird. Oh, okay. We went, I was really, no. I was like, what? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, we became like, we, we were like, boy, we said we were boyfriend and girlfriend in April of 2015. And then in August of 2015, we went to Canada. So why did we go to Canada, babe? Uh, it was my parents' 25th anniversary, their wedding anniversary. Yeah. And so we, I was going in. I don't even remember, like, I actually don't remember asking you. Or anything like no you did I remember like when your parents you know because then we went in England mm -hmm. studying for our masters and then you know your parents brought up the you know idea of you coming home for yeah. your 25th wedding anniversary and I remember like when specifically you asked me but you did ask me like would you want to come right well obviously I, I had yeah. to ask you you, yeah. you came so yeah you didn't just show I up. didn't just bring myself <laughs> right I don't yeah I don't I don't remember like having I, I remember my dad saying to me like Hey, you're coming home for our wedding anniversary and I was like are you sure and he was like that's not that's yeah. not negotiable yeah. and I was like well I would come anyways but yeah but I don't remember actually asking you yeah um, it was nice we did visa the first time I was denied mm -hmm. visa struggle 101 <laughs> At least we were in England though, so the processing time was like four days. Yeah, the first time I was denied, uh, but then we did it again like in two weeks after. The main problem, they just wanted a letter from my school saying that I'm a student and I'm still in school and I'm coming back after like because I still have to finish my program. So when I applied the first time, I didn't get that letter from my school. So when I did the second time, I got it and we got the visa and um, we went to Canada. like. To be honest, I don't know, I mean, what was I expecting going to Canada? I just felt like it would be like England. I thought it would be like England because England was like the first Western country mm -hmm. and the only Western country I've been to at that time in my life. So I was like, yeah, it's most likely going to be like England. I mean, I, I, I wasn't expecting like the countries to look the same, mm -hmm. but I was expecting to get the same vibe. And did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, they're totally different. They don't look the same at all like different style of building different layouts different yeah. different everything um no totally different different places like different experience different weather everything is just honestly different as it would be but you know i expected to i wasn't expecting to be like the same the same but i was expecting some sort of like similarities like mm -hmm. um between them but yeah, so this is turning into a story time actually. <laughs> yeah, it is turning into a story time. So anyways, uh, we flew to Canada. It was like an eight hour flight. Nine. We flew to Calgary. And then from Calgary. Oh right, I'm thinking of the winter flight. No. That's right, we flew summertime to Calgary. We had a layover. Yeah, we had a Our layover. Flight was delayed. Yeah, and then... We had then we our flight was delayed because our flight from England to Calgary was delayed by an hour, so we missed our connecting flight from Calgary. And then they said in, when we got to Calgary, they said in nest because we were supposed to take the two o'clock flight yeah. from Calgary to your hometown, but then they said we missed that one, so the next available flight was till nine o'clock. Yeah, it was we awful. were so pissed. <laughs> My favorite part of that whole thing was like when we got to Vancouver. And we went to the, they were like, okay, well, we're not, there's not a flight to Kamloops tonight. So 
we'll put you up in a hotel. Yeah. And we were like, okay, well, yeah. whatever. And then so we get to the hotel and like the lady at the hotel is like, hey, okay, so like I need a credit card and like, and I'm just like, lady, I, rem I remember like, I'm not a very confrontational person and I usually just kind of nod along with stuff like that because like these people are just doing their jobs. But I remember just looking at her and being like, Lady, I've been on a plane for like 11 hours. Like, why are you I had a layover a credit card? for like five hours. I have, I'm a student in England. <laughs> I haven't been home in like almost a year. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me right now. Yeah. Like, I, I don't have any of the things you need. The only reason I'm in this building and not at home is because, because the airline put me here. It's because Air Canada, you know, everything just messed up. But yeah. And I remember just being like, so if you need me, I'm going to be in this chair. <laughs> I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. And she was kind of like, okay, I get that. All right, let me call Air Canada. I was like, thank you. Yeah, like, so they, they put us in a, hot, in a room and we had to be up at four o'clock because our flight was six o'clock. Yeah, we slept for like so four hours. So we slept hours. like a few hours. We ordered, I remember we ordered fries that night. Yeah, we had, we ordered room service. Yeah, we had fries and next morning, 4 a.m., we we're back to the airport to fly to Carson's hometown, which is like, how many minutes is it it's from? Like 45 minutes. From Vancouver, like yeah. 45 minutes. And yeah, at that point in time, guys, because this was the first time of me meeting Carson's parents, like real. Like, obviously, I've been talking to them on the phone. Like, whenever you call your parents and I'm there, they say hi to me. Um, at that time, I think I had your mom already on Facebook. Yeah, you did. Yeah, your dad was after I left Canada. He added me on mm -hmm. Facebook. <laughs> so once in a while, that's I would... a good sign, though. That means, as to quote my dad, you're on the team. Yeah. <laughs> and he kicks people off the team like every day. Like, he's Facebook like, you're off the team. <laughs> you're off the team like every day when people annoy him. So like, if you're on the team, like that's a, that's you got the dad approval. That's yeah. all. That's all so, you need. So um, you know, before then, once in a while, I would say hi to Carson's mom on Facebook. So I already knew his family, but this was like my first time meeting them. And I was nervous because I wasn't nervous about meeting your parents. I was more nervous because the whole family was yeah. gonna be there. Yeah, it because be it was Carson's cool. parents' twenty fifth wedding um, wedding anniversary. So lots of family members, uncles, aunties that I've only yeah. heard stories about. There are people there that I barely. Yeah, know, so. I was so I was nervous about meeting Carson's family. Not necessarily his parents, because I felt really comfortable meeting his parents. But his friend was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then I remember we flew down, your dad came to pick us up. I still remember what your dad's the first thing I your dad too. said when he I saw me. What did he say? He said, Oh, you're short. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing Carson's dad said when he saw me was like, Oh, you are short. <laughs> Maybe a uh, video he thought I was tall or yeah, something, but know. yeah, I'm like what five six five seven. I, I don't think I'm up to five seven. I'm like five six. So. Yeah, I'm like five six. But yeah, it was a nice ride from the airport to your parents' house, and we mm -hmm. stopped by your dad's office to pick some things. I don't remember anymore. And then we went into Carson's home. We got in. Do you remember what your auntie did? I don't no. remember. Your, I don't know. I don't remember which of your auntie. I don't remember. I remember you meeting my mom. I don't remember. So I went in and obviously I had wig and stuff. Oh no. Oh, this is a bad start. Oh no. Oh no, what did she do? I'm so glad you don't know which auntie because I would be like, I'd, I'd be like, what did you do? Oh no. Which I found very like weird because oh, I had no. like a wig. I didn't mm -hmm. have braids or anything. Oh no. So I came in. And literally, Carson's auntie, the first thing she did was she went and she touched Oh, me. no. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. It's okay. Which I felt like, I was like, in my mind, I was like, but I'm wearing a wig. Like, this hair looks pretty much mm. like your hair. Like, you shouldn't be touching it. But anyways, I didn't find it offensive. I just find it. I just found it. Like, knowing my aunts in their defense, it probably wasn't like a, an, oh, no, you're no, black. I want to touch your it hair. It wasn't any of your... It was probably just like a look at you, like like uh, one of those. Yeah, but like, the way, sometimes the it's way hard she touched to, it, it was yeah. it was a little bit it was a little bit weird. But yeah, was it one of my like immediate aunts? No, it wasn't any of your aunts. It was one. Oh, of the, then I don't care. One. Oh, one of the extended family. Yeah, one Who of cares? The, No, it wasn't any of oh, your like screw them. uncles or your aunties. Oh, no, it wasn't, okay. Wait, I oh, think no. the camera is like okay. So yeah, and um, basically yeah, I met the family. Everybody was nice. Like immediately I walked in, everybody was like so welcoming. Like my nerves just dropped mm -hmm. immediately because everybody was like really friendly. Everybody was like talking to me, 
you know, saying hi to me. I gave your mom a hug. Yeah, I remember. She, actually, I think she gave you a hug. Yeah. I don't think you had a choice. Yeah, in it was it was it's, nice. It I was, can't wait. On a side note, like that exact moment where my mom was like, hi, and like gave you a hug. I'm still waiting for the moment your mom my and my mom. Made, because my uh, mom is gonna do that to your mom. <laughs> and I don't know if your mom's a hugger like because that. Because our parents I, haven't met yet. They still haven't met. And hopefully by God's grace, fingers crossed, everybody's gonna meet next year. Uh, but yeah, it would be it would be fun. Look, trust me, my mom is gonna hug your mom. Oh, okay, too. good, okay. The hugging would be mutual. All right. It would, both of them should be expecting hugs from each okay. other. <laughs> And yeah guys, so um, we were in Canada for like two weeks, 14 yeah. days yeah. I remember. It was a really nice experience, um, I had a good time there. I think for me the favorite thing we did on that trip during the summertime, because I went to Canada twice that year, I went during the summer and I went during the winter. I enjoyed the winter vacation more of than the summer because it was Christmas in Canada, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> but during the summertime, I think the, my best thing we did was when I went on the sea do with your dad, mm -hmm. that was so fun. Carson's dad has like so many big boy toys. Toy, big boy toys. Big boy toys. He, <laughs> he has like so many things he plays with. So he took me on his sea do on the lake behind um, their house. It was it was really fun. Mm -hmm. I had a good time. It was a nice bonding experience mm -hmm. between your dad and I. But yeah, um, and I met your friends for the mm -hmm. first time. Your friends have been talking to on the phone. I met your friends. Um, I didn't really have like any weird, you know, on a, you know, when you travel as a black person, when you travel, you always have like those things at the back of your mind. Do you have like any weird racist experience when mm -hmm. you go to a new country? We had one, not like a negative, it was still, it's still racism. What but happened? I don't remember. Do you remember that like crazy old white lady? No, she was, I don't think she was racist. No, the, okay. We went to like this, we went to buy a drink and we were coming out of the the the, the shop and this lady came to us like oh my god she was like you guys are so cute she was being nice yeah but then she like i remember maybe i remember it differently but i just remember her going into this big long speech about like how she had black friends and like all this and i'm just like okay i okay so maybe maybe it's not like racist but it was just like i don't it was just it's I thought she was nice. I thought it was. I thought she was nice, but it, it got old real quick. It's one of those things like, okay, thank you for complimenting <laughs> us. I don't need to know about the African dude you met at the bus stop in 2006. Like, I don't need to know these things. None of this matters. And yeah, it was just like, okay. It was nice. Oh, okay. It was nice. I, sure. I, mean, I thought she was nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, not so uh, besides that, which was like the one weird, you know, kind of like, oh my god, a black and a white couple experience that we had. We didn't really have any. I, did, I noticed looks though. I did get we looks. We got a lot of looks. I did get a few looks because Carson lives in a very, especially in your parents' hometown. Yeah. In Kamloops is a little different. Well, there's, there's literally well you're there as I was far literally as, the think, only no there's two me and the there's, police there's woman. you and there's a black police yeah. woman from so there Montreal. were literally only two black people yeah. in Carson's like parents hometown so when we did go out we would get looks just but I, I didn't see them as like weird like racist no they're just there. curious yeah it was just like a curious look especially if we're like holding hands and stuff yeah. you know when you look when people look at you and you look at them back you can deduce if they're giving you like a hate look or if they're just curious so I didn't really deduce any hate look from them no. I might be wrong you know put not chase like but yeah well it was nice uh nothing nothing no racist encounters I mean I'm not trying to say Canada isn't racist but I'm just trying to say my own experience nothing like that but yeah, we just I just thought it would be fun to share this story time with you guys. First time go visiting. Do you want to tell them the buffet story? No, we don't want to talk about the buffet <laughs> story. I, you know, I think I want to talk about the buffet story. <laughs> okay, buffet story. Okay, babe, tell them the buffet story. So there's this Mongolian style grill in my hometown, or my well, yeah, Kamloops is my hometown. Yeah. Um, called Hoja's. Um, if you're from the West, I don't. Um like Canada, America, you probably know what that means already. Mongolian style grills, at least where I'm from, all in BC, any Mongolian style grill is like, you. there's a buffet of raw ingredients, you grab whatever you want, and then you take it up to a chef with this big like grill, and he cooks it for you. So you choose your spices and your sauces and whatever. Mm. So like usually it's like you take some noodles, like I like to, I just like a little bit of noodles, a big pile of vegetables, as much meat as I can fit into my bowl, a pile of garlic, 
and like a little bit of soy sauce and that's usually like my go-to because I just theory on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> so we went for lunch and at lunch the the old lunch they had um, it's a little bit more expensive because it's all you can eat but there's seafood so there's like um, oh, imitation crab and shrimp was there and I just remember <laughs> we walk up to the buffet it's my friend Jack then a Siri and then me and Jack is there and he's putting sh shrimp in his bowl and then a series like wait so this is like unlimited and he's like yeah take whatever you want and she's like so like can I just take all of this shrimp and Jack's like yeah fuck it do it and I'm just like guys leave some for some and he's just like no we're doing this now and I was like but somebody else want okay whatever so they cleaned out the entire like tub of it was like forty dollars worth of shrimp so on good. one plate so the series plate was like shrimp rice rice maybe a sprinkling of like vegetables it was it was it was just shrimp it was just a plate of fried it was, shrimp it was amazing <laughs> and she ate Absolutely that like loved three it. times and i remember at the end the waiter that was there came over to our table because it was me it was us and jack and a couple Some other of your people friends, yeah and and he came up and he was like i've never seen anybody crush this buffet like this table I think, did i think me and jack went like three rounds yeah and the other guys you jake were, and jake you went, went like, like five four. i went like four sean it went was, five it was yeah we ate a lot of food that it was day. amazing it was great we died boy it was a good day siri still talks about hoja she's like i can't I'm wait like, to the go first back. time that we go like when we go back to Canada next, that's the first place we're gonna go eat. I hope it's still there um, because I miss it a lot. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was fun. It was a good experience, and then I went back again during winter time. But maybe winter time will be a story for another day. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he hates it a lot. It's so dumb. <laughs> anyway, so guys, we hope you enjoyed this mini story time we didn't intend for this to be a story time but i think it just it felt nice being a story time you answered any questions i was going to ask you in the story anyways so yeah, yeah. I, I guess so anyway guys we hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to give it a like also if you're at this point of the video and you're not already subscribed like why just why hit that subscribe button okay jam the fam jam the gang follow me on my instagram and yeah thank you so much and we'll catch you guys in our next one Bye. See ya.